Hi, I'm Jennifer with So Bad It's Good. I'm the owner and sewist, and I wanted to do a little video, uh, kind of a getting started video, showing you my belly bands, some of the absorbent products you can use. If you have any questions about what we cover today or any other questions about belly bands or dog diapers, uh, please send me a convo on Etsy or email me, Jennifer, at So Bad It's Good. Okay, let's do a quick summary in the beginning of what we're going to talk about. So if you don't want to watch all the long-winded part, you can just catch this part in the beginning. Um, my favorite pads to use are Prevail pads. You can find them on Amazon. They are by far the cheapest. If you need something local, try out the Tenna brand. Um, Poise have great little small packages that you can try out, so that's a good starting point. Um, my bands come in a couple of different shapes. You can get them in contoured like this or straight like this. The Velcro comes either like this or like this. So you have two or one. Um, care instructions, wash these on cold, dry them on the lowest heat setting possible. I do mine on medium. The lower the heat, the longer they're going to last. Quick summary of options available for So Bad It's Good belly bands. We have contoured, we have straight, and we have elastic. I also have waterproof. It's a layer that's sewn between um, the, the uh, cotton and fleece layers. Um, <clears throat> all my belly bands are made with a cotton exterior and a fleece interior. You can do waterproof and elastic together and you can mix and match all of these. So you can do straight or contoured with elastic and waterproof. Um, if you have any other needs, if you would like uh, snaps or buttons, I've had a few dogs that are really freaked out by Velcro or hook and loop tape, and I have a large selection of uh, snaps. Belly bands are pretty simple and straightforward to use. They come with Velcro, and you just wrap them around your dog. <clears throat> you can put in a, a absorbent pad if you like. Other options are waterproof layer sewn in between these two layers that you see, or uh, elastic. Elastic is useful if you have a short hair dog or if your dog is uh, just really slick hair like a pug. Um, it helps to keep the band in place. It's really useful if you have, uh, if you're not going to be using a pad inside. Okay, I wanted to show you what the pads look like inside the belly bands and, <clears throat> and show you a little bit about how, how they're working in here. So when you set one of these in here, the pad will, the, the band will pull up along with the pad. So you can see that you get this, this little bit of lip from the pad, which is wonderful. I don't find that you need to do anything special with the elastic for the average dog. Um, <clears throat> this is all you need. As soon as this gets soiled, you take it off, you put another one on, you're good to go. Generally speaking, um, I don't find that I have to change mine more than three or four times a day just for the frequency of my dogs. You may find that you need to do more or less, just depending on your specific needs. I'm always happy to answer any questions and help you get set up with a, a good situation for you. Um, <clears throat> some people prefer to use smaller pieces of this. You can even cut these up, just depending on your dog. You can cut it right in the middle and put it right there. Now, if your band is sliding around at all, which they're, it'll, it'll move a little bit. So I like it to be this wide just in case it twists a little bit around the dog. You have maximum protection here. That's going to have to go a long way before you're going to have an issue. So <clears throat> for me, this is the solution that works. I use one Prevail pad um, and change it a couple times a day just as needed. Uh, my dogs go out. I'm home all day, of course. So <laughs> my dogs go out all throughout the day probably four times, four or five times a day. Um, and you know, if it's wet, I just change it. We're good to go. You can use one band probably um, at least a day. Some people do more. So to measure your dog, use a flexible tape measure. You want to measure approximately two inches in front of uh, their hip joint here. I like to put my finger there and then, let's go this way, and then wrap around this way. So he's 
measuring right about 12 inches, 12 and a quarter inches. Now, you'll notice that this band is, is pretty tight, but I can still get a couple of fingers under here. Um, you don't want to measure too loosely or the band will slide around. You don't want to measure too tight or you're going to, you know, you can really cinch this down and I can get it to 11 inches, but this is, this is too tight. The bands are adjustable. You'll notice that the bands, this band goes from a 13 to 18 inch girth. The best fit for this band where the Velcro closes completely is right in the middle of the, of the size range. So right about 15 inches, 16 inches, right in there is the perfect spot for this band. If you don't have a tape measure to measure your dog, you can use a length of ribbon and then you can lay that up against a ruler. So the same general concept, you just wrap that around and then take that that section right there and lay it flat against your, your ruler and you'll get the right measurement. Okay, let's talk a little bit about what kind of pad to use to absorb the moisture. I really like the urine absorbing pads. You can use a maxi pad. They work really well for short term or just little bits of liquid. These are great for absorbing um, a full bladder, um, if your dog is completely um, emptying their bladder and if you're gonna be gone for a while. I used maxi pads in the beginning um, and I found that they worked pretty well, especially if you're changing them very frequently, but they're just not meant for that volume of liquid. Poise are pretty expensive. They're great. I think these guys are just as good. This is Tenna brand that you can get from HEB usually, Walmart. Um, it's readily available. <clears throat> Prevail I get on Amazon. These are the ones I currently use. They're my favorite. Uh, this is a level four. Uh, fours are what I pretty much use all the time now. If I'm going to be gone a long time or, you know, more than four hours, then I try to put on a, uh, a six. I ordered a sample pack from Tenna. You can get that, and that's really great. Um, I ordered the heavy pads, so uh, this will give you some idea. So the heavy pads go from five to seven. So that's what you want to be in if you have any sort of full bladder uh, needs. So if they are eliminating their entire bladder, definitely go with a five, six, or seven. Uh, might be able to get away with a four for a smaller dog. I'm able to for my Pomeranians, but uh, definitely try a couple. So these are the ones that I use. So <clears throat> what happens is, of course, you get this little, this little cup. So you can see the elastic here. I, that's why I generally don't think you need to have elastic in your band. I generally use one band all day long, sometimes even a day and a half or so, just depending on, you know, what's going on. If they've recently had a bath, you can get away with it for a little longer. Um, <clears throat> the poise pads are very similar. Um, this is, both of these are a level four. So, let's see if I can kind of give you an idea here. They are very, 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 very similar in most regards. So. I, I have not noticed any improvement using a poise pad versus a prevail pad. Um, I feel like they, they wick just as well. They hold the moisture just as well. And they're so much less expensive to go with the prevail pads. I do think a poise is a great place to start and see if they work for you because you can get really small sample packages of them in the store. If you just want to try it out, Try the poise, it's a great idea. These are a level five, so this is a little bit higher. Now let me grab that other one so you can see. Okay, so this is a level five long. So as you can see, much longer than this one. Well, okay, not much longer, but it seems like it from a Pomeranian. And um, so they're a good couple inches longer. What some people do is get these and cut them in half. Now there'll be little bits of uh, absorbent material. If you're careful with it, it's usually not a terrible big mess. I usually will cut them and just very carefully go ahead and lay them in the bands um, after I wash them. It's usually fine. I don't notice a huge issue with it. Some of the other brands, like the Maxi Pad ones in particular, are to me messier. I notice there's a lot of little fibers and material absorbent crystals coming out of those. So generally, if you're going to cut them in half, I would go with the ten along. If that's really what you want to do, do that. However, I found the Prevail ones, a whole one without cutting it, is cheaper than cutting the tenna. Um, that can always change, I guess, with Amazon, so please check me. But generally speaking, the Prevail ones are, are better. Um, again, this is a tenna five, 
which is this guy. So this is a five, this is a six, and this is a seven. And the seven are, it's just massive. It's so big in there. And um, I have not ever used a seven. I haven't found that I've ever needed to use a seven. But if you have a large dog, if you're a large breed dog, I would definitely go with this seven. This is really great. It's really wide, really wide. This is going to give you a lot of protection. My recommendation is that you let your dog air out for about 10, 15 minutes a day while they're going outside. If you have to leave them longer, I would recommend a bath a wipey, something like that, to get any excess urine off that might have been sitting up against their skin. Okay, so let's talk about how to wash your belly bands, how to care for them. The lower the temperature, the longer they're going to last. If you can use a cold water wash and, a, and a, just a medium or a cool uh, dry, that's better. Um, you can hang these to dry out in the sun, you can lay them flat to dry, and you can run them through the dryer. I run mine through the dryer and I find that they last several years. Um, if you get the belly bands and you're having some fit issues, give me a holler because there's lots of things you can do to tweak it and to make it work really well for you. Um, they're very adjustable so you can always batten them down a little bit, tighten them up, and use different kinds of pads to get the right fit for you. So uh, I've had lots of experience. I think I've had 20 foster dogs at this point, and I have four of my own dogs at this at this moment. And um, so I, I have a pretty good amount of experience with a lot of different kind of dogs, mostly Pomeranians, but a lot of them were short haired, and uh, you know didn't have their full coat in. So I should be able to help most people. And I've had a lot of uh, conversations with folks about what's worked for them, what they need to change if they order another belly band. So I think I have a pretty good a pretty good background and I'm able to help you. Uh, so Bad It's Good has been in business since 2015, the end of 2015. And I got into this because I was uh, fostering uh, Pomeranians for Recycled Pomeranians Houston. And uh, they gave me a belly band when they sent this foster dog home with me. He had not been potty trained, so it helped a lot for me to get used to how to train him. And um, I find them to be like a, a lifesaver for <clears throat> while you're training your dog. I have lots of other tips I would like to add about how to train your dog. And I will do that in a future uh, post.